the luxurious lifestyle of Nicolas Cage. Welcome back once again to the channel Luxury Zone. Nicolas Cage, who once had a net worth of $150 million, certainly knew how to spend his fortune. Along with his rocky film career, he is known for his crazy spending habits. Let's have a look at the luxurious lifestyle of Nicolas Cage. Keep watching the video to find out all about it. Leave K Island. While purchasing a home is a dependable achievement for the average Joe, it is not enough for the affluent and famous. Celebrities such as Johnny Depp, Ricky Martin, Shakira, Celine Dion, and others are no strangers to owning islands for their personal usage. Nicolas Cage, of course, is no exception. Having purchased the exotic Leaf K Island, the actor paid $3 million for the 35-acre property located south of Bach K, Bahamas, luxury cars. The actor, like most people, yearned for a luxurious car to get him around Hollywood. But on the other hand, Nicholas elected to spend his money on more than 50 rare automobiles and over 30 motorbikes, in contrast to the majority of individuals on the planet. His enormous automotive collection included a Lamborghini he purchased in 1997 for $450,000 that had previously belonged to the Shah of Iran. He also owned a 1955 Jaguar D-Type, which he proudly displayed in his home's game room and which several celebrities said was undoubtedly a talking point. The biggest money he's ever spent on a car was $1 million for a Ferrari Enzo, one of only 349 ever manufactured. Schloss Niedstein Castle There's no denying it. Nicolas Cage had two European castles, one of which was fit for a king. The Schloss Niedstein Castle, located near Etzelwang, Germany, has 28 rooms, 10 bedrooms, 5 bathrooms, and 165 hectares of meadows and forests. Cage purchased the 11th century castle in 2006, but he could not keep it for long. Instead, the actor sold it to Conrad Wilferth, his German advisor and lawyer, in 2009 haunted house. Nicholas bought a haunted mansion for $3.45 million in 2006, indicating that he had more money than he knew what to do with. The fact that this house had belonged to serial killer Madame Delphine LaLaurie adds to the strangeness of this purchase. Madame Delphine LaLaurie, a New Orleans Creole socialite, was a notorious serial killer. She tortured and murdered innumerable enslaved people in her household between 1787 and 1849. It is said that she committed her heinous killings in that very house. Yachts A-list actors and successful business people are expected to own a fancy yacht. But we're talking about Nicolas Cage here. He was the proud owner of four luxury yachts. On the lower deck of one of them, there was a restaurant and an onboard jacuzzi. Although impressive, it is not enough for Cage. The actor spent $20 million on the yacht's renovation, including 12 master suites, a salon, a bridge, and a study area. Jets Possessing a private jet for personal usage verifies a celebrity's fortune. Michael Jordan, Oprah Winfrey, David Beckham, Tom Cruise, and Nicolas Cage are among those who own one. The actor paid $30 million for a Goldstream jet, one of his most expensive possessions. The opulent plane had a conference room, a kitchen, even a minibar, and an onboard crew who could prepare meals for the passengers. In terms of technical specifications, the jet is powered by Rolls-Royce BR710 turbofan engines and can cover 7,300 nautical miles in about 14 hours. Tombstone A 9-foot-tall, pyramid-shaped tombstone in New Orleans' oldest cemetery was the cherry on top of all his acquisitions. Although the price of the strange gravestone is unknown, it is safe to assume it was not a cheap purchase. On the abuno, which means everything from one in Latin, is etched into the pyramid tomb. Nicholas stated after purchasing the pyramid that he plans to be buried inside it when he dies. But unfortunately, after his tax blunder in 2009, both the spooky home and the tombstone were foreclosed on. Pygmy shrunken heads. Nicolas Cage obsession with abnormalities and strangeness knows no bounds. Surely a spooky home was insufficient to satisfy his strange taste, as the actor is no stranger to going too far. 
The cage likes pygmy shrunken heads to traditional stuff like vases, candle stands, and whatever else we regular folk use for decor. Homes. Maybe Nicola's cage didn't want to sleep at his spooky mansion. So instead, he amassed 15 luxurious homes through a succession of irrational shopping sprees. In Newport, California, waterfront property cost one to five million dollars. A countryside estate in Newport, Rhode Island, cost 15.7 million dollars, and a villa in Las Vegas cost 8.5 million dollars. Cage shopping spree had only just begun. He also possessed a $17.5 million estate in Bel Air, California, a $3.45 million home in the Garden District of New Orleans, a $10 million beach house in Malibu, and a $9.4 million mansion in San Francisco with its wine cellar, pets. Nicholas Cage, believe it or not, has his own reptile house on his estate, but it hardly scratches the surface of the exotic pets he has. He paid $150,000 on a single octopus. Cage claims his pet octopus serves as his acting instructor. So this is a reasonable price. A crocodile and a pair of albino king cobras are also among the actor's possessions. So, does Nicolas Cage have a suitable pet for everyday use? True, but there's a catch. The actor has a pet cat with whom he once ingested hallucinogenic magic mushrooms. That's all for today. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to our channel for more.